Well, you know, valve versus, uh, you know, solid state. Again, that's one of these arguments like light strings and heavy strings, you know. Um, it's preference. It's my preference. Uh, I, I prefer solid state because um, it's not the solid state of 10 years ago. It's not the solid state of 20 years ago. You've seen how electronics and, and digital equipment, devices, more and more powerful, more smaller or bigger screen, but <coughs> smaller computers, more powerful. The technology moves and it is moving very rapidly. It sort of doubles every year. So for me, the sampling rates uh, of digital amplifiers now is brilliant. It's just like uh, digital recording. I could never go back to tape. I mean, I've lived through the whole evolution or most of the evolution of home recording. I remember the first four track cassette player, then reel to reel, and then, you know, I've recorded albums on vinyl, I've done, you know, cassettes, the whole history to digital. And when digital first arrived, it was harsh. It didn't sound that great because the sampling rates were not great. So it didn't sound... <laughs> I can't stand mosquitoes, sorry. <laughs> um, the sampling rate wasn't good, so the sound wasn't good. And so guitar players went, oh, digital sucks, so I'm just going to stick with my tubes, it's warm, it's this, it's that. But to me that's closed-minded because it's like saying, uh, I'll still use a dial-up telephone. You know, sure, it works, it's great, but how many people are using dial-up telephones now? Nobody, right? You have to move with it, otherwise you get left behind, I think. And, you know, guitar is one of the only worlds left that still hangs on to tubes, uh, valves. Uh, and I'm, as I said, I like to be innovative. I like to be on this edge, not back here. I want to see what's going on now. I want to stay with that. And um, so, yeah, of course, tube amps sound great. Absolutely, they weigh a ton. They're so heavy. The, you know, uh, the tubes change. You know, they're delicate. They're expensive to change. Uh, there's a lot of minuses also with the tube technology. It's okay if you're in a studio where it sits and it doesn't move, but if you're traveling, I mean, for me, I have hundreds of sounds in my multi-amp. I can store it on an SD card. I can show up anywhere in the world with an SD card, plug it into a multi-amp FG, and I've got all my sounds, it's all set. Uh, it's got effects built in, it's, you know, m multiple um, amplifier selections. Uh, it's incredible. It's small, it's compact, and uh, it sounds amazing. The sampling rate is amazing. People love my sound now. They go, this is the best sound I've had. Uh, and I hear that comment all the time, and I go, well, you know, it's, it's, there's no tubes. People think it's tubes. So when people think it's tubes, I'm happy because there aren't any. <laughs>